Two Jews by Victor Hartman is a set of paintings depicting the wealthy and the impoverished. The accompanying music by the modest Migorsky is both moving and captivating as it embodies the relation between these two individuals. The exhibit to display the paintings pays homage to the music through its design. Our experience begins on the outside as we see the massive brown steps which lead to the white facade of the entrance. Though this is the first floor, the tour begins on the second level of the structure. The audience is to climb the six large steps in order to reach the white facade. This climb is meant to be difficult, the steps at times reaching more than two feet in height. This is to represent the struggle of achieving wealth from a place of poverty. There is a total of 11 level changes in combination with the steps and the facade. These accompany the 11 heavy beats of the opening of the song. The second floor has six columns, which is a number that comes up quite often in the sheet music. The room is also accompanied by a series of four windows. These windows, they point towards each other, coming up and then dissipating on the other side, as does the music, as it is written and played. It kind of comes to this head and then tapers out as it, before it goes to the next section. There are two sections like this and hence the two sets of windows. The actual space where the painting is held is ornate with four levels of framing and tapered ends. This four is to represent the four different sections that are in the beginning of Samuel Goldberg's portion of the song. As we are encouraged to leave Samuel Goldberg's portion of the exhibit, we are greeted by the stairs down to the first level. These steps are much smaller, much more manageable. This is paying homage to a portion of Shmuel's song, which has a much lighter and fast pace beat and tempo. There are four windows as you come down the stairwell, and this is encouraged by the four sections of the song, which combines both Samuel Goldberg's and Shmuel's leitmotifs together. The space of the second floor is consumed by the bulk mass of the columns, the largest portions of the columns being on this basement level. This speaks to the idea that though the wealthy are independent and on their own level, they are built atop the impoverished and at the cost of the impoverished. The first level has a ceiling height of only 12 feet tall, while the second level has a ceiling height of 18 feet. 12 feet is not small by any means in standard home building, but in combination with the material choice and the size of the columns, this all gives the first level a very cramped feeling in contrast to the very open space and open air feeling of the second level. The painting of Shmuel is displayed on the wall directly in front of the stairs. Directly above this painting is a slit in the ceiling which leads to the second floor. 
This allows light in as well as the ability for the audience from the second floor to be able to view Shmuel. This view would be distorted and not accurate due to the aggressive angle that you would have to stand in order to see any of the painting. This speaks to the idea that though those in higher society can look upon the impoverished, they will never truly be able to experience them without first going down and joining them on such a level.